<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Dude with blue sunglasses here, and um, wow, I have been gone for a while. Uh, so I thought, you know, it was about time that I got back on camera and just kind of told you guys what's been going on. And first of all, I just want to say I'm so sorry about the hiatus. It's just a lot has happened in the past month that I have been gone and I have been dying to tell you guys about it and I cannot what? And I cannot what? I cannot what? I cannot wait to get into it, which is right now. So let's do it. Okay, first of all, why have I been on a hiatus? Uh, what have I been doing? Um, <clears throat> well, one of the things I've been doing is actually just trying to get my life together. Um, I have a lot to talk about. Uh, February has been a very rough month. I've been going through a very emotional period, and I'm going to get into the specifics of that in a second, uh, because everyone online wants to know what I've been up to. <laughs> One of the things that I want to talk about is, like, recently I've just been kind of going through, like, I guess post-living on my own depression, which is just kind of like, yeah, oh shit, I live on my own, I have a lot of responsibilities now, and shit, this really sucks. <laughs> And on top of that, I also have class. Oh, and socializing is a thing? Oh, and I have to do this and this and this to get be successful in life? Fuck! <laughs> so it's just like a giant clusterfuck of like a ton of things that I just had to have done. And I, I just want to, I guess, kind of get my life together. Just trying to figure out what is the next step for Andrew Fromer. And I like to think for the most part, I got that handled. So far, I've made a few friends while I um, while on my hiatus. Uh, some of them you might have seen on my Instagram. Some of them you might not have. Um, but definitely, life is so much better now than it was about a month ago. Uh, now it's time to address something, and you probably can see it in the title of this video. Um, that being um, breakups, and I want to talk about breakups and what they do to a person and how I guess you should look at it in a way. Breakups are not fun. Breakups are hurtful, they're scarring, they're, depending on the context, could damage you for a long period of time. I know I, there's a breakup prior to this breakup that has hurt me for a few years and actually recently I finally got over it. Um, stuff like that just does not go away and sometimes you just need to reflect and take some time and I just want to kind of talk about what's been going on yes it is true that blonde girl that you normally see in some of my other vlogs especially from a few months ago we broke up uh, Megan Ledsom or Jasper Hayes uh, who is the co-creator of Jerry the Snowman and a ton of your favorite posters from my movies uh, on Ultra Swag Time we ended it actually a little over a month ago now and I, and it's hard, it, it's absolutely hard. And I, I've been an emotional wreck ever since. Like, it's like my mind has just been spiraling to one chaotic toxin to another. And, and it's just absolutely heartbreaking and it sucks. It really sucks that that's the case. Megan will always have a special place in my heart. She helped me get through so much, she's helped me accomplish so much, and we are still friends, do not get me wrong. It's just unfortunately things just sometimes don't work out, and sometimes you just need to move on and try your best to live with it. Try your best to be someone you should be rather than someone you think you need to be. What's better? someone you want to be or someone you need to be you only live once so think about it hard and I just want to say I absolutely thank Megan for everything she's ever done for our, my YouTube channel but I'm pretty sure this should go without saying that Jerry the Snowman 3 is kind of on a hiatus um, I mean, it's still probably gonna come out in December, maybe. Whether I'm behind the seat of directing or not is still up in the air because, again, it it's still me and Megan's thing, but it's also an ultra swag time property, which is also owned by a bunch of other people now. So, 
whether it it's probably gonna happen with or without me it, it just depends and honestly a part of me kind of hopes it doesn't because that's really me and Megan's baby and if somebody else really tried to handle that it would feel neutered I, I would imagine so it's like someone taking James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy 3 no one wants to do it because that's James's movie it's James's style but I'm not entirely objected to the idea because I know a lot of my friends love Jerry. I know a lot of my friends here love Jerry and would like to see the third and final chapter. I would just have to give them all my notes that I already worked on and let's see what they go from from there. I mean, I'll root for it. I'll watch it. Uh, and I th and I don't know. It's just like a lot would have changed. Like whether like it's not my style and. Certainly Megan's poster won't be on there anymore. Or maybe it will, really just depends. We just gotta see where things are in about a year, I guess. Uh, but, let's keep talking. Um, but before we continue on that, I just wanna say once again, Megan will always have a special place in my heart. And for the memories that we had together and the memories that are online, I'm gonna keep them up. I will keep them up because they're special to me and I don't want my life, I don't want that part of my life being gone. I will say this though, for people who are thinking of breaking up with somebody or have and are dealing with it, remember this, you got with them for a reason and depending on the circumstance of how it ended, it should never affect how you see them as, as a person long term. Keep them around. Keep them as your friend. You like them enough to be with them anyway. There's no sense of why you can't still be there for them. But enough about that. Let's get back on to the future of my channel. Both Ultra Swag Time and I guess Dude with Blue Sunglasses. <laughs> I've been on hiatus, I honestly can't say if I'm going to be back permanently on my regular schedule, which is like a video every week. But I can definitely say that my little post breakup depression is a little bit more cured. Uh, it's just mostly college stress at the moment. But uh, I, I can definitely say that videos are, going, are still, I'm not gone, I'm not retiring YouTube. Videos are still coming, it's it just a matter of when rather than if if that makes any sense whatsoever. Hopefully it does. Um, but, uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see. I do have, I did actually shoot a few videos while I was gone. It's just a matter of like actually getting the motivation to edit it. Like this is something very easy. This is something I could just throw together in like maybe 30 minutes. But the videos I shot like vlogs and whatnot, those take like hours upon hours and that's just energy that I'm still trying to regain to get back. But don't worry, I'm still the workaholic filmmaker you know from 2012 to now. And I don't think that's changing anytime soon. As for Ultra Swag Time, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. What can I say about that? Um, it's been a disaster. It's been an absolute disaster. And I'm going to be the first one to say that is partly my fault. I really just kind of rushed responsibility to a bunch of people. First it was Pablo, then it was now it's Stanley. And truth is, I don't feel like I really understood that a lot of these people don't know, or and I don't want it to my own horn, or my own horn here. But these people are not me. They're not the people who had to make the system um, without their capabilities, uh, without some capabilities, like. Pablo was always just a guy who was very creative, but is very busy. And Stanley is a person who has great ideas, but are just beyond, like, beyond reality, if that makes any sense. They're, they're beyond our capabilities. And I hope he realizes that soon, because I really do feel like it's halting production to an extent. Because one of the things, and, I'm, and I will be bringing this out publicly, one of the things that is holding, that was holding him back for the longest time was a camera for a movie that he was supposed to shoot. 
um, that he was shooting on the iPhone and all of a sudden he just wanted to shoot other aspects of it or from my understanding wanted to reshoot everything he shot on the iPhone on a camera and uh, he rejected other offers and just strictly went for someone else's camera and that just never worked out and I feel like that is partly a blame to, on him and said person um, especially since the communication seems to be a very lackey thing between everyone there they all want to do it otherwise they wouldn't care this much about a camera <laughs> but it just feels like none of them uh, once again are me they didn't have like the capabilities or I guess the I, I guess the ingen ingenuity because for years I made films on a phone and that really never stopped the quality of it it's just a matter of what you're what you are creatively capable of it doesn't matter the paintbrush it just matters on the artist that's something I want people to take home and think about it does not matter on the paintbrush it matters on the artist now I did once say earlier that I will be occasionally uploading to ultra swag time and there might be some truth to that uh, I wrote a script while I was down here and I, I think it's actually genuinely funny <laughs> I, I, I have to do some rewrites and find a location but I have some free time coming up and I don't see any reason why I should not go and make this project and post it on Ultra Swag Time it might just just be a funny idea we will have to wait and see also I kind of just want your opinion here um, that being what do you guys want to see on because blue dude with blue sunglasses has always been more of a personal account while ultra swag time has been more of the professional account um, so my question is what do you guys want to see on set account on this account specifically like would you guys like me to do Q&A's would you guys like me to do uh, I guess more of my stupid memes and what would you guys like to see on Ultra Swag Time? And I will make sure that Stanley and Pablo and Casey hear about it. Um, but yeah, overall, that's pretty much it. Um, this video has been really dragging on a little too long, but it's over the 10 minute mark, so yay for monetization. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Have you seen the shit I made? There's no monetization here. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I just want to... I just wanted to talk about that, and thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, a proper, more, I guess, energetic and fun video will be coming around soon. Uh, the sunglasses are returning, don't worry. I actually broke the sunglasses, so I gotta get them fixed. But, yeah. Um, my name is Kevin Mason, or Dude with Blue Sunglasses, or Andrew Fromer, or Shady O'Malley, or Woodstock, or... Kevin or Ken or yada yada yada. I have so many goddamn names. It's not even funny. Okay. I gotta go. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Peace out up in here